Welcome to Fine Art of Cooking. I'm Marie. I'm sharing with you my new hobby, growing edible microgreens indoors. During the early days of the pandemic, I was looking for ways to grow vegetables quickly and easily. Now I'm hooked and it's been rewarding and relaxing. I started with the easiest one to grow, which is green pea shoots. Follow me along and you'll see why. Also, at the end of this video, I'll show you how to prepare dishes using these tasty microgreens. Use any dry green peas. You don't need special sprouting peas, which are more expensive. I'm using about half a cup. Rinse them a couple of times to remove dust and impurities. Then soak them for about 10 hours. You will need a draining tray like this and a larger tray below it to catch the drained water. Use any shapes or sizes you have. Now lay the soaked peas out evenly on the tray. Before I set them aside to sprout, I want to remind you to spray them with water twice a day to keep them moist. Cover the peas from the light. Seeds germinate better in the dark. This is called the breakout period. It's the first half of this process. Okay, we'll check back tomorrow. Now, it's been 24 hours. Let's take a look. I'm moving it to this counter because the lights are better for filming. You can see they have been germinating. Next, we want to put weight on the peas to keep them down during this sprouting period. These are two pound bricks. The weight prevents the peas from pushing one another off the base when they are sprouting. Those pushed upward won't get enough nutrients from the bottom tray. You can use anything you have in your kitchen that's heavy. If you are wondering if this is necessary, well, I've experimented with not using weight they grew about an inch shorter. For the next three days, you need to spray it twice a day to keep it moist. Just briefly remove the weights for spraying and then put them back on. Today is the end of day four. Let me show you the progress they've made. As you can see, the color of the peas has turned pale yellow. This is because they haven't been exposed to light yet. They have sprouted about 2 inches and grown a good root system below. Now we can expose them to light and start watering them from the bottom. They do not need direct sunlight. I'm just placing mine next to a window. They get about 6 hours of light per day here and they seem to do quite well. If you don't have enough daylight for yours, you can use LED light. Green pea shoots are by far the most foolproof seeds to grow. They don't need soil and are clean and odorless. Be sure to change the water every other day to keep it fresh. Remember that plants gravitate towards the light. So, turn the tray around daily to make their growth more upright. You normally harvest this between 9 and 12 days after starting. This is the 11th day, so I'm going to go ahead and harvest them. 
They usually grow to about 8 inches tall or 20 and a half centimeters. Let's look at them close up. These tiny green leaves are what we call microgreens because they haven't matured yet. They are said to be more nutritious when eaten at this premature state. These are called tendrils. Why plants use these for support when they climb? To harvest them, we'll cut about one inch above the base. I'm using scissors, but you can also use a sharp knife. These pea and root remnants are not edible and we'll discard them. They make good compost materials though. We'll wash this and I'll return to show you how to use them in dishes. Pea shoots have a refreshingly sweet taste, so they're excellent when eaten raw in salads. They become tender when cooked in soup. And they make an excellent side dish when sautéed with garlic and vegetable bouillon. This is so flavorful. Enjoy! That's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, remember to push that like button, share and subscribe.